y'all. Okay, so basically where we're at with this is this is a cutting board. Yes, a plastic cutting board. I picked this up for a dollar because I wanted to test and see if this would work. <clears throat> I have done other wooden boards before where I have done, I have painted on them. Not this exact picture, obviously. And then you can seal it with an FDA approved resin epoxy once or twice. <clears throat> and then it's food safe. So I wanted to, basically I'm testing a whole bunch of techniques. So as used per usual. So I am going to paint in some gold size onto my buffalo right now and we'll hope this turns out. But the background is a combination of a whole lot of titanium white, cadmium yellow hue, uh, light hue, cadmium orange hue. I used hues, not the real cadmium, just to make sure. Naphthol deep red and then uh, quinacridone violet. So. I don't know, uh, this, like I said, it's a combination of all of them. I did that last night before bed, and now I'm just gonna paint on my gold size and <laughs> hope and pray this works, because I really don't know. I've never done anything quite this detailed that's this, like I would like to do something like this that's like bigger, potentially. Because like, it's it's gonna be interesting to see if I can get the, the little hairs. That's kind of what I'm more concerned about, if I'm honest, is that, that little, like a vibe of hair almost, if that makes any sense. I don't, I don't know. So I'm kind of being conservative <clears throat> and I'm going to go, I think, and do this in sections. So this is probably going to take a while, uh, but I just wanted to show you kind of putting on the gold sides and kind of discuss the plan and then I'll come back when I've got a little more hopefully figured out on what I want to do. So, with regards to... I am using the textured bronze, which I've used quite a lot lately, and I basically... I'm not... I've seen it a few places online, I think. It looks kind of like that. <clears throat> and I picked a whole bunch of it up when I go... when I was at Hobby Lobby, and it was like, clearance out. So, bummer to Hobby Lobby for clearancing it out, but yay because I got a steal on it. And uh, I have seen this in other places, a couple other places. It's a very similar one, but definitely not for the $2.75 I paid for it, which was, you know, like it was on clearance, so it was a deal. I was like, I'm okay with that. I kind of want like a more like rough look to some of these uh, spots. I am a little nervous this might not work at all uh, because I don't know. I'm <laughs> like really cons concerned about it I guess. So I really like this uh, type of paper. This type of paper, this type of leaf because Especially this one, it's got some nice variegation in it, and like I said, it's kind of a bummer they're not making it anymore, but it's been good for me because I picked a whole bunch, I like a super steal of a deal type of price. So, and I kind of want some of this like lighter variation more up at the top. So this is when you can use some of this variation, variegation, variegated. Uh, to your advantage, place it in the spots you want it to be placed in for, you know, whatever reason. Kind of strategically put it there. It looks really good. Ooh, okay, I'm going to definitely have to probably redo this again. Get the spots I missed and stuff in the morning. Say very dark. It's not that dark. I have, I mean, I have purple that's like way darker, but you know, that's like also purple. Uh, some of this is definitely, I definitely did this. Okay, in section. So I hope you guys can kind of see what we're doing. I'm building a lot of layers of different, uh, well, this is the variegated rose texture, rose bron bronze texture bronze, textured bronze. Anyways, so I am right now using the champagne silver because I liked that and I was like, oh, I want to use that. I may have
have to go through because see, I can see that I didn't. Well, you know what? It's okay if I get it outside because I'll probably go back. I have some <clears throat> spots, as you can tell, to clean up around here anyways. So normally I would use a, a larger brush probably for, well, I do use a larger brush for this section, but for this tiny one, and we're gonna take all this little leftover stuff. So, like I said, I'm not too worried if it just doesn't turn out exactly like I want, I'll fix it later. Not such a big deal. Okay, I'm gonna go clean this, blow this off real quick, and then we'll come back and take a look. But. All right, so that's where I'm at. I've added that in. I'm definitely going to add just a smidge more of the <laughs> textured bronze here and kind of build up some additional layers of it. And then I'll go in and start filling in other things. Like around the nose, I'm going to paint around the eyes, but I, I want to get much closer to the eye section if I can. Ideally with a darker color like this. So that gets to be just playing with some of the patterns in the textured bronze, the variegation, so. Okay, so this is where we're at. I'm just giving a short, quick update. I am at a pausing point, is what I will call this. I am going to seal all the metal leaf before I paint on it, and then I'll come back and I'll do some additional, I think, with the background, I'm kind of, uh, I'm not sure. I originally just wanted it to be this color. However, the reason you see larger plants here when they should be just focused here and dots in the back is, <clears throat> so this was kind of a concern I had. I should have probably primed this with gesso first, but I didn't. I mean, this realistically, it was like 98 cents to buy, so it's not a big deal either way. That being said, I did not prime this and I just went into it doing what I want to do, which is how I operate, I feel like sometimes. And um, so I got a little water on this from the paintbrush. Hopefully we won't get any more. And it caused the acrylic paint to lift. And my thought slash hope was because it's plastic on plastic that it would bond. And I think realistically I should have put gesso down to give it more of a tooth to bond to because the plastic while it's not smooth, like a smooth surface, it's not, like I should have sanded this or something to give it more of a, a real actual tooth to it. So I don't know. Uh, but I'm hopeful that basically once I'm done sealing everything and epoxying it all, that it should be fine. So right now I'm just going through and I'm sealing and yeah, and then I'll work some more on the foreground. I'm gonna do, realistically, like buffalo, at least the ones I've seen out west out here. They are, it's a lot of brush, so I'm gonna do some brush around him, but I, again, I wanna seal everything because I'm going to paint on him so that I can do the nose and the eyes, and then I'm debating about outlining some more. And But like I said, I really want to seal everything up first so that the metal won't rust, basically. Okay, let's get this underway, shall we? All right, so I'm gonna do some additional background work on this piece right now. Now what I did is I created my own acrylic paints, which I have videos to. Uh, you can check those out if you're interested in that. And I've sealed this, the metal on it, which I wanted to do so that I could paint on top as well. And what I did was created, that's not flamingo pink, that's not the color I used. So I, for this one, for this color here, I created a mix of the bright yellow and the solar gold. I love the solar gold, by the way. It's really, really great. And then I did apple green, and I also did citrine. So I thought those colors would go really well with this background, and I am going to see how this works out for what I wanna do. And these are all Perlex pigments, so they're sparkly. And 
and I have a couple of different brushes to choose from. So I have this Zero Brush, which is a Princeton Snap, I think. And then I've got this Filbert, that's a Windsor and Newton. And uh, I don't know what the number is. Oh, it's a four. And then I've also got this other one, which is a round number four from Liquitex. I really like those. And then I've got my flat Royal and Lang Nickel, and I think this is a one inch. So that's kind of the brushes I'm going to use. And then I do have this other El Cheapo craft brush. I'm just going to see what works best to make the flicks. This one may work the best because it's fairly stiff, and I find that usually gives me the texture and feel I'm looking for. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of test it out over here on a section of my palette paper. And the one I have the most color of is probably the green maybe, but it's really light. Yeah, okay, so I think this stiff brush is definitely going to work better. Let me try a little with this to see how I like that. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so I'm going to use probably both of these brushes, I feel like. So. We'll just start playing with the paint and see what we see. So I'm not too worried and if I need to add more pigment in I can certainly do that. So we'll come back, I'm going to play with this and then yeah. We're back, and as you can see, I have uh, made quite a lot of progress because the camera battery died, and I'm not waiting on it. That's uh, that's how I roll. So I'm just trying to do some last minute shading, just a little little bit here. Um, I'm not sure that's going to be as light as I want it to be, but we'll try. So I went in and I added some additional of the textured bronze where I wanted it to be a little darker and I'm just going to go back in and like I said just kind of even darken that a little just to try to give a little additional depth to it and yeah let's kind of play with it okay I'm I'm calling this a day here for that so now what I'm going to do is be wild and uh, don't, I don't remember how to do the eye, sorry, but it took me a long, long time to get the eye just right. I think I spent more time on the eye. I feel like we're as much on the eye as I did on shading the rest of the body, if not more so, but I really do like how the eye turned out. Let's see if I can zoom in so you can see it kind of close. I think I did a pretty good job on it. Eyes are not the thing I'm really great at, but I really do like how this one turned out. I think I did a pretty good job. I do want to add just a wee bit of shine to the nostril. And thus, I the boobies. Boo. I'm going to call this okay for the mo. And I kind of want to go in and do an outline with the black ink. I'm really scared <laughs> about doing this, if I'm honest. Um, I don't at all know how this is going to turn out. I'm, I'm really nervous I'm going to ruin this. Ugh. Like, really nervous about screwing this up.
I need like a double zero sometimes. You know what I mean? Have you ever seen that where you feel like you need like a double zero? I'd like to get this resined tonight so that I can just see how it looks. That would be the ideal situation. There we go. Okay. Okay. And I just want to go in. It's probably a terrible idea. I'm trying. Just no. <gasps> why is it? Okay, it's got to be wet there or something, and that's why it's spreading like crazy ass. I'll go fix this later. <laughs> okay, I think this might be too big. Oh, that's probably too much. That's all right. Mm, no, I don't like that. Okay, let's see if we can do some cleanup now. The lines in particular I'm not a fan of. I'm gonna stop there because this is just way too much fun and I'm gonna go cuckoo lucu ba doo doo crazy with it. I kinda already have. I think that's fairly evident. I've already gone overboard with this probably. And I'm definitely gonna have to do a couple of fixies, but they won't take too terribly long, I don't think. So I like it though. I really dig this. I don't know how this turned out. Do a little more here, but I'm really, really nervous to do that. Okay, I'm gonna pause this for the cause because I'm a little too, uh, it's easy for me to get carried away. That's a nice way to put that. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna do a little more here. See, told you I could get carried away. I got carried away there. Uh, don't squeeze the ink bottle too much. Uh, Cause she's gonna do what she wants otherwise. All right, I'm gonna call that a day. We'll be back, well, not a day, but you know. Okay, and uh, welcome back. So, though not really welcome back. So as you can see, I don't know if you'll, I hope you can see. I have gotten, oh yeah, you see it there? You see all that like beautiful, like all the metal. It looks so, so good. I was really happy with it, how it turned out. I want to do an extra coating on it just to make sure that everything that I use on this is going to be food safe because I actually do kind of plan on using this as a cutting board. Uh, hopefully someone's not screaming no. My mom might be. She really likes this one a lot. And I have to say, I'm so excited with the eye turning out really well on this. I did lots and spent a lot of time working on the eye. I could probably do some more, 
or have done some more, but I just was at a point where I needed to, to move on. I, I get to that point sometimes with when I'm working a painting where I'm like, I've got to, I've got to move on. I've got to try and do something else. So anyways, I really enjoyed doing this and I'm just mixing up like two ounces of resin, which is probably way more than I need to for this. But I just want to make sure we have some pretty good coverage. And yeah. Once I'm done getting this scrape over and spread over, I will go blowtorch it. So. So I like to get the edges first just to make sure they're gotten because, yeah. I don't think this table is quite level, to be honest. So, all right. I think I've mixed it well enough, so I'm just going to go in here, and if I haven't, it will certainly know because it will take a lot longer for this to set up. So, and like I said, my thought process with this is I want to make sure this is definitely food safe and going to be okay to use around food objects, so I always feel like give it two coats rather than just the one and just be, you know, kind of extra, extra safe if that could be a thing. And then just again, because this is resin, I was like, and it's clear, I'm not super concerned about, you know, I do need to make sure this gets all the way around the corners, which can be, sometimes be a bit of a challenge. Because I am uh, using very little resin on this part of the, this time. So I hope I can do a good job and not leave uh, naked spots, because that's not good. So, so I'm just gonna take and pull it all the way to the edge, just bringing it on up. And if I need to, I was like, I can always get this excess scooted around its corners, because that's. To me, that's important. I, I want to make sure we're good and covered, like I said. So, we're, we're all, so. But this is just gonna be, at this point, this is just my personal piece I'm keeping for me. I have a couple of ideas for gifts I'd like to do for other people later on, maybe. But we'll see kind of how that ends up working. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go blow torch real quick. We'll be right back. Just gonna get rid of the air bubbles really quick. Back and forth, back and forth as fast as we can. Okay, done. All right, so I think for now that's it and then we'll come back and see how she does and hopefully it'll be okay and I don't need to add any more, but we'll see. Welcome to the end of this video. So I just wanted to jump on here really quick and show you while I'm in the midst of editing this, how the buffalo actually turned out. I feel like you can really see it. Ooh, trying not to show you also the edits I'm making to this long old video, because this is definitely more of a tutorial, because I definitely want to go back and do similar things with other projects in the future. And I think this will be great for me to look at. But I really love how like the colors, like I said, turned out in this it's got a lot of dimension uh, in terms of everything just when you see the light it's got a lot of different shades and stuff and that texture bronze is beautiful because you can use some of the darker parts where you want to shade and lighter and then i also added citrine the citrine paint that i use down here in here to help add some highlights that almost clear and then i added white to it in order to get it to be opaque down here so I'm so, so happy with how this turned out. I hope you all enjoy it. I hope some of you do something similar because it'd be really cool to see. We can all just be like cutting board painting artists or something together. Anyways, I just thought this was really a lot of fun. It was a new way to test out, well, not, well, test out a bunch of different mediums that I wanted to do, but also to do something really creative and something I really enjoyed. So I hope you guys like it. And I'll talk to you later. Have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.